In this episode, I'll show you how I designed and 3D printed this Hogwarts Express sign for my wife, right here on Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. My family is really into Harry Potter and my wife is a huge Harry Potter fan. And I had several people send me this Thingiverse file from Jay Pohl. It's a Hogwarts Express sign. The difference is he made his sign out of wood and then 3D printed the 9 and 3 quarters and I think he did the letters although it looks like they're painted here. Well I didn't want to make it smaller and I wanted it completely 3D printed. So I went to Tinkercad and designed my own. Nine and three quarters. Think you're being funny do ya? I'm going to use four different filaments here. Matter Hackers has a new MH version. I'm using that for the white. The Candy Apple Metal Flake Red from Protopasta. I'm using that for the red. A E-Sun Bronze, which I'm actually using for the gold. And then some Inland Black to finish it off. The first step was to bring in a box element and then drop the ruler in the corner so I could get dimensions. Then I resized this thing to 270 millimeters long and 92 millimeters tall. This gave me similar proportions to his. Then I made it three millimeters high. Then I imported his nine and three quarters. Why reproduce that? And I just resized it to the proportions that would fit my sign. And then I centered this to my plaque and the nine and three quarters and the sign was looking really good. The next step was to bring in the text tool and spell out Hogwarts Express. Well, it turns out the letters are very similar to the font that he used. And I, all I had to do was resize that so it fit within my plaque and then center that along with the nine and three quarters and the plaque. And there was the basic building block. Now he had a nice frame around his with a rounded molding and then a flat edge. So what I did is brought in a rounded roof piece and made it five millimeters wide, two and a half millimeters tall, and then just stretched it out to the length of the side. So 92 millimeters in this case. And then I duplicated that and slid one to the other side, put that on the edge. And then I made another one 90 degrees, but the full length and then duplicated that and put it at the top. So I had my rounded edge. Now I needed my flat edge. So I brought in another box made it 2.5 millimeters wide and four millimeters tall. So it's a little taller than the round, but a little bit thinner. And then I duplicated that on all four sides and I had my square frame with my rounded inner edges. And then I grouped all this together minus the nine and three quarters and I had my Hogwarts sign. Now I lowered the nine and three quarters a little bit, 2.5 millimeters to dig into the top. And then I duplicated and slid that out because I'm going to print that separate. Then I made the original one a hole and grouped that together. And what this did is put an indent in the sign so I know where to glue the 9 and 3 quarters. Then I exported both those .stl files and then I went off to Simplify 3D to slice them. Here's the 9 and 3 quarters. I actually made two processes and it's all standard settings except I made the first layer stop at one millimeter. Here, let me show you all. This is what it'll print. It'll show a little bit of nine and three quarters. It'll print up to that point, and then process two will finish it off. Process two will start at one millimeter and print from there. So the bottom will be a white, and this top process two, I'll use a black. So I'll switch material when I print. And so here it is. Here's the first layer, the first process, and then here's the second layer of black being put on top. I have my nine and three quarters. Now I did the same thing with the plaque. I had a process one, I stopped at 5.5 millimeters, and I'll show you that. It prints the whole thing minus that top edge, which is gonna be gold. So this will all be printed in red, and then I'll use uh, the advanced setting to set it to start at 5.5, and I'll use single extrusion walls so I can get good lettering here, and this will all be gold and you see it's lifted off the bed. So here's the first process, all printed out, and it looks really good, and then I ran the second process. Here's a kind of a brief time lapse of it printing the gold. This is looking really, really good. Now I noticed the nine and three quarters printed with a little bit of lip. I got out my deburring tool, which I have a link to this in the description below if you wanna buy one, but it's great for cutting the edges because I don't have to worry about cutting my thumb. So I just carve the edge, make it nice and smooth, and then I use the black marker to make the whole side black. And then I just put a little bit of super glue on the back of this thing, pressed it in place and made sure everything was straight, and then I just let it dry. And once I did that, I was done. Now I actually made two of these because my plan was to glue them together and hang it so I had a Hogwarts Express sign that would look good in both directions. But after my wife saw it, she had a little spot on her bench that she wanted to place it. So I hung it and leveled it for her. And there it is. If you like this project, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up here. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. That's it for this week. 
I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.